Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna try and record this really, really fast because behind me, they're doing some construction and I think they've taken a break for lunch. So I wanted to get this out to you today. Um, thank you for coming if this is your first time being on my channel, but if it's not your first time and you're coming back, thank you for coming back, I appreciate it. But uh, basically, I'm gonna switch things up a little bit since I live and play and hang out around Panama City Beach, Florida, I figured I would share some tips and tricks with you guys so that you could know the ins and outs, maybe even some local secrets as what's going on around Panama City. So each week I'm going to be dropping a little bit of information on what's happening and maybe some little secrets. Okay. So first of all, Mardi Gras is upon us. So there's a lot of Mardi Gras events this weekend. You've got Mardi Gras parties and parades. Um, at the Cosa St. Andrews uh, Park. It's the 21st through the 23rd, so it's this weekend, it's free. There's the Shrimp Boat Mardi Gras, and that's the 22nd through the 23rd. I think there might be a charge for that, but all that downtown Panama City area will be having some festivities. Um, there's also the Crew of St. Andrews Pet Parade. Um, that's from 12 to three on May 23rd, and it's free. So go check that out. I mean, how cute is a pet parade, right? Okay. And then also, not to be forgotten, I can't say this name right, but Los Antojitos, um, great me Mexican restaurant in um, downtown Panama City. They're having a music and Mardi Gras from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. on Saturday, the 22nd. And that is also free. So, definitely check that out. Also, if you're in Panama City, uh, a lot of people don't know about this, but there's this place called Papa Joe's Bayside. And they're, um, they have events every weekend, every Thursday, Friday, Saturday uh, night. They have food trucks, they have bands. Check them out, check out their webpage. They definitely have a lot of stuff going on this weekend. It is free, so go out, like it's beautiful. Go hang out, have fun, take your friends, take your dog. You know, it's a great, great time. So Papa Joe's Bayside. You can find all of these things on Facebook if you want to search them in the events. Also, there's the Lynn Haven LuLaRue Park and Party um, at Beef O'Brady's on the 22nd. And that's free as well. It's 11 to 1. Um, I don't know if you're a big LuLaRue fan, but they are. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. But they're going to have some like um, appetizers, a lot of drink specials, things like that. So even if you don't really care about the clothing, go for the party right? All right. So, um, another thing that I'm pretty excited about that I haven't checked out yet, but I'm wanting to check out cause it's kind of up my alley, uh, is a comedy open mic night at the library. It's spelled L I E library, but that's Wednesdays from eight to 10 PM. So that comedy open mic night is probably pretty funny. Uh, if nothing else, um, it's probably funny. Just the fact that a lot of these people probably don't know what they're doing. So anyway, check them out. And then finally, uh, every Monday and Friday, Monday at 6 p.m. and Friday at 8 a.m., there is free beach yoga. It is at the Namaste A Mermaid's Oasis. Oh, let me say that again. Namaste A Mermaid's Oasis. That is run by Mermaid Heather, but she also does paddleboard. She does, um, she's on my channel so you can check her out if you want to but she does a lot of different things but she has a free beach yoga Mondays at 6 p.m. and Fridays at 8 a.m. donations are always accepted but if you want to go to that and check it out you can meet up at Beach Access 47 okay um, basically that's about it that's well there's a lot happening but those are the main things those are the main points so if you're watching this and you have an event in Panama City Beach that you want to get out there you want people to know about hit me up let me know i'd love to advertise it and put it on my channel for you and i'm here with a secret inside tip for you this is something i recently found it is called resortpass.com you may have heard of it but if you hadn't game changer if you come to panama city and maybe you're not staying exactly where you want to stay or you want to go experience a pool at some other hotel or whatever uh, resortpass.com you can actually buy a pass to different hotels along the beach for the day. So you can go use their pools. If they have a lazy river, you can use the lazy river. You can eat at their tiki bars. You can take advantage of all their amenities and it's very cost effective. I highly recommend. So especially if you just want to come down for a day trip and you don't want to spend a lot of money on a hotel, come hang out at one of these pools on the beach. I mean, some of them are as low as $10. Some go up to like 30, but that's because you're going to get more for your money. But I definitely highly recommend. I've done it a few times. I don't 
I mean, I don't really have to, but it's fun. I mean, it's nice and it's right on the beach. So I definitely recommend it if you have not done that. And that's about it for today. I hope that's short, sweet, and to the point. I hope that gives you some ideas for the weekend. And please, if this is your first time or you just haven't pulled the trigger yet, like, comment, subscribe so that you can be up to date with all that's going on in Panama City Beach, Florida, because there's always a lot going on in Panama City Beach, Florida. All right, I will see you next week. I'm going to try to upload these every Thursday. Um, I'm a little late this week, but I'm going to try and get these up every Thursday. Anyway, hope y'all having a great week and I hope y'all have a great week and I will see y'all next week. Thanks. Bye.